Um, in my last video, I did a haul talking about some of the new products that I got this month and some of the products that I had recently just purchased. And I wanted to show you guys how I use some of those products because a lot of you guys were asking questions about how I use um, powder and um, what the foundation looks like when you put it on and all that stuff. So I was gonna show you guys how I did my hair, but it's really not that hard. Um, I literally just pulled a ponytail up to the front of my head as far as I could without the rest of my hair like popping out in the back. And then I just pulled it all forward into like this pineapple thing. This look actually kind of doubles as like a regular date night look, which is what I'm wearing it for tonight. Tonight is date night, it's Friday. Um, and it could also be a Valentine's Day look if you changed up the lip colors. I'm feeling good today. I'm really feeling good today. So hopefully my makeup comes out good today. I'm hoping it comes out exactly the way I did it two days ago. I'm gonna take my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Beautiful spray for the face that allows for your skin to be hydrated, moisturized, glowy underneath your makeup. I'm gonna do my eyebrows while I let this dry. I just got my eyebrows done, which is why some of you were like, oh, they're so skinny, they look really good. It's because I just got them done. My homegirl Uzma hooked them up. I'm gonna fill those in lightly with my NYX brow, micro brow pencil. And I just fill them in to give them a little more color because if not, they get lost in the sauce. But my eyebrows are pretty much done. They just needed a little bit to fill, a little bit of fill in there. Brow power. The Tatcha spray is dry, but this is what it looks like when it's dry. Christ it, right? Uh, <clears throat> Before I use my foundation, I'm gonna use this professional primer just a tiny bit of that on the, the main points of my face um, just to fill in any pores and as you can see that instantly kind of takes away some of that poriness um, takes away some of that shine too but even though I'm putting on these primers that are going to take away from the shine the glow is still going to come through um later throughout the day so and then on top of that i'm going to add my it cosmetics bye bye pores powder um and it's just translucent powder i'm trying not to get it everywhere because i have on black which is dumb because i'm putting white powder on my face but we're just gonna sweep that the places where I get oily. But I just find that this really like gets rid of that poriness. I don't know, like when you put it on, you can really see it like smooth out your skin. So I'm gonna take my Dream Velvet Foundation and I'm gonna put that all over my face, basically. Move hair. We got work to do. A, my beauty blender. I'm gonna take the booty of my beauty blender. I'm going into my contour kit here from Cover FX and I'm just gonna um, lightly cover these dark spots. Kind of color correct those first, even though my bangs and stuff are gonna be covering it, but i um, just gonna do that on this side too. And then I'm going to blend out my foundation in Kind of spread that evenly. Now I'm blank um, and I need some life brought back to my face. So we're going to highlight and contour because that's what highlighting and contour does. It brings life back to the face after you've completely erased it. So I'm going to use my Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in the color Jinja. I got a lighter color. And place it underneath. the eye and I'm going to take it a little bit into my nose area 
because it makes your nose look slimmer. Thought somebody was coming up to my house. I'm about to be like, eh? Who is you? What do you need? Why are you here? We're just gonna put a whole lot of concealer on today, guys. I don't know why I'm feeling real concealery. And then you take it like in the center to make, you know, your little nose shape that you want. Them on my forehead as well. For some reason, I feel like this concealer color is drier than the other Radiant Creamy Concealer color, which is caramel, that I usually use. And I'm not sure why that is, because it's the same product, just a lighter shade. But I feel like this shade is like drier, so I have to move more quickly with this one. dabbing and by the way guys beauty blender has a new um, color they have a new nude beauty blender which I mean I don't know if you guys wanted a nude beauty blue blue if it's nude you have to like you just gotta buy it like I just feel like you need everything in black and nude you know you need a nude and black bra you need a nude and black pair of heels you need a nude and black Beauty Blender, like, I have to go buy the, the new Beauty Blender. I just, I have to. But it is sold out on Sephora, though. I think it's still available on their website and at Sephora stores. If you want it, go get it. I'm gonna move on to contouring. Cream contour from Cover Effects. I'm just gonna take that down the bridge here. And it's okay if it looks a little strong because we're gonna blend it out. And I'm just gonna blend some of that out with my finger. I feel like Sometimes using a brush is too precise. My face powder, which is my Makeup Forever Pro Finish powder. It's not really like heavy powder. It's kind of sheer, which I like because um, it doesn't cover up my highlight. It just kind of blends it in. And then after you've done that, you can go back and re-highlight where you want it to be super strong. The e.l.f. Contouring and Bronzing Duo. And I'm gonna um, just go over that contour part. And then I'm doing my forehead. Cause we can humble it a little bit. You know, our forehead's a little strong. We can humble it. We have room for that. I'm doing this out of order in the way that I did it last time. I feel like I'm not doing it the same way, but I wanna do this. So I'm gonna highlight my nose first. Right where I highlighted with the cream highlight. Excuse my nail. I need to get my nails done. And then I'm going to use a fan brush to highlight my cheekbones, yeah. Ah, oh, I forgot to put on my Benefit. Okay, well, I'm just gonna use Mary Luminizer um, by the balm. But before I used, what is it, What's Up? Cause it really helps to like help your powder products to pop. Cause it's never the same when I do it again. Let me try to remember. <laughs> Oh yes, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used caramel and um, warm taupe because those are my two favorite eyeshadows by them. And I literally just went in and mixed both of those with a blending brush. So let's just take caramel and take warm taupe and caramel, warm taupe, caramel, warm taupe, caramel, warm taupe. And we're just gonna blend that all over our lids here. You have to do your lips like this when you put on eyeshadow. It helps trust and this is like a very subtle smoky eye i mean it's like smoky but it's not too smoky you know it's just the right amount of smoke for daytime but it can also be worn at night and still be sexy not really sexy i don't know how to be sexy i try but it doesn't work i'm too clumsy i'm too goofy it just doesn't work out like that my highlight is really strong let's go back and go over this let's go ahead and go to the under eye so, so i'm going to take caramel underneath the eye first I think this is what I did. I don't remember. Okay, sorry, I, my camera died and then I had to go pee. So I put caramel on the under eye part. Going to um, put this dark brown, deep brown color. And we're just gonna smoke out the under part of our eyes, the lower lash line. And if you don't have this palette, I know this palette is limited edition, so most of you don't own it and cannot get it. 
for a reasonable price. They have these shadows individually. I'll link them in the description box. Um, but you can find individual shadows, I believe, at Macy's. But Anastasia does sell their eyeshadows that they put in their palettes individually. That is the gist of the eye look. I feel like this is looking extremely glowy and I don't want it to be too glowy. Let's go over your areas where you've highlighted with the Beauty Blender and that way it kind of pushes the highlight into your skin so that it's not sitting directly on top of your skin. Do the nails break out when they get their eyebrows done? Because I do. I break out for everything. Um, but just go over your highlight with your Beauty Blender a few times and it'll help to sink in that highlight so that it's not too bright. This Artiste brush and the highlight that I used um, because this little guy gets right into those inner tear duct areas so you can like highlight your inner eye and it'll make your eye look more open and like bright and awake. So we're gonna take our mascara which is for me always my Too Faced Better Than Sex because I mean it's not better than sex but it's better than the rest of the mascaras that I've tried. So I'm gonna just coat my lashes for the one time. I need some lip chap. I'm putting lip chap on. And the lashes I'm gonna be using are the Siren Lash um, by House of Lashes. And I'm gonna take my Star Glue. Ooh, 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 that's too much. We almost had a crisis, guys. Crisis averted. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Sasha powder and run that under my eyes just a tiny bit because I think I got some fallout. And lately I've been really loving this Dallas blush by Benefit. Um, one, because I love the packaging. I mean, look at that. If that's not me, I don't know what is because I am a cowgirl. I mean, hey. This, this this is not really even a blush. It's kind of like a luminous blush. It doesn't really add color as much as it does like kind of like give you like a healthy glow, I wanna say. I don't know, it just kind of gives you a healthy glow. Like I said before, this look is really versatile so you can kind of do whatever lip. If you wanna do a nude lip, if you wanna do a red lip, pink lip, whatever. What I did was I used this Aqua Lip Pencil um, in the color 2C. This is Ciate Liquid Velvet in Swoon. It's a really simple peachy nude color, so this is the finished look. I hope it looks like what I did the other day. I hope. Oh wait, I'm not done. I'm gonna take my Scandinavia Finishing Spray. Um, so I'm gonna use this makeup eraser, which is what I use to take my makeup off. I've actually been using this for like a month or so and I really like it like it gets off your makeup super quick and easy and you can wash it and reuse it so it's not like you're wasting makeup wipes because I hate buying new makeup wipes like I literally go through so many of them look at that it took it all off um I'm gonna use this makeup forever aqua lip color and um I have a red Ciate lip color but I'm gonna use the color pop I guess I just got a new color pop one I don't want to try that, so. And this one is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Trust Me. And it's their Matte X, which is a super matte lippy. And what the difference between this and a the Ultra Matte Lippy is this one is, I believe... A, it's it's like this. It's more like the um, regular lippy sticks that they have, but it is a super matte, meaning that it is moisturizing and not super drying on the lips, but it's really matte and it's gonna stay all day. Ooh, ooh! I love how this feels. Mm -hmm. Really liking this one, guys. And it feels like a liquid matte. Oh my god, you guys! I think. They just invented greatness. 
This reminds me a lot of Max lip, um, their retro matte lipsticks is just a lot more moisturizing. It looks like Ruby Woo, but if well, actually more, it looks more like Riri Woo, but guys, it feels amazing. Like it feels like butter when it went on my lips. Like I was impressed. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's a fraction of the price of Ruby Woo and Ruby Woo. But um, yeah, it just feels amazing. This is what that formula should feel like. That was amazing. And I mean, it does stay on really well and it's not transferring. Just in case you wanted something for Valentine's Day, go ahead and get it. I think it's limited edition, so you might want to check that out. The eyes are not too smoky to where it makes the look look really like dramatic and extra. Uh, I feel like this is really wearable. I think I like it with the red. I was gonna do this pink lippy to see what it looked like. I think I'm gonna leave this red one on. Um, so yeah, I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.